Welcome back to the classroom. Today we're going to talk about one of my personal favorite subjects. Bro science, an introductory course to bro science. What is bro science? It's a sarcastic term where word of mouth knowledge is passed along primarily between bodybuilders, weightlifters, and those who are extremely knowledgeable in the fitness and nutrition community. What it is, is anecdotal evidence that's presented as a fact by unqualified but confident people who feel their knowledge is superior to others based on their experience, their physique, and the physique of their friends, mentors, coaches, you get what I'm saying. Bro science, scientific evidence taken from your favorite bodybuilding magazine, used as implicit fact that's completely unsupported. There's no reasoning behind it, and when that person is challenged on their claim, they refer to ad hominem. What is that? Well, it's a logical fallacy attempting to negate the truth by pointing out a negative characteristic or belief of another person that's supporting it. Let me give you an example of what that is. Can someone in the class please explain to me three different bro scientific facts about weightlifting and nutrition? Yeah, bro, what it is is uh, you can't eat uh, carbs at night before bed. You can only eat uh, brown rice and sweet potatoes and oatmeal and uh, as soon as you drop the weights in the gym you better have your shaker cup with your protein and a hundred grams of fast-acting carbs to spike your insulin otherwise you ain't gonna get this simple as that bro excellent that was a great demonstration of what bro science is uh, can you explain to me why I can only eat brown rice? Uh, why not white rice? <laughs> Did you hear this guy? White rice. Bro, white rice makes you fat. Don't you know anything about spiking your insulin? That shit just gets you fat. <laughs> Some professor he is knows nothing. Anyway, uh, can we end this class soon? I gotta get my fifth meal and it's been two hours now. So how about we get rolling here? You seem to be a little bit uneducated about glycemic index and meal frequency. Maybe you should watch this video right here about meal frequency and it will help you out a little bit. And can you tell me exactly why I'm going to get fat from white rice? Um, why can't I eat white rice? Uh, how is it going to spike my insulin and what is that going to do to my body? Bro, everybody knows white rice makes you fat. Only brown rice is allowed when you're trying to build muscle. Like, like, like I said before, bro, look at this. You mad? You mad at that, bro? Look at, look at Ronnie Coleman, look at Jay Cutler. You think they eat white rice? Look at all these guys, all shredded, bro. No white rice, no simple carbs, protein after workouts, creatine with juice in the morning, first thing, uh, pre-workout stacks. It's the only thing that works in this world. So, if you want to just be a little skinny bitch the whole time, never put on an ounce of muscle, that's your decision, bro. Hopefully that cleared up what bro science is. The ad hom that I'm talking about, or the logical fallacy, was that he was unable to provide a claim of why white rice is going to stop you from gaining muscle or it's going to make you fat. Instead, he insulted me by saying, I'm either always going to be a skinny bitch or I'm going to get fat if I eat white rice. Same claims you'll hear over and over, such as milk is bad for you, carbs at night are bad, have to have sugar post-workout, uh, if you want a six-pack abs, you got to do hanging upside down, uh, knee tucks on the top of a building, uh, nine sets of 4,000. It's, it's the only way you're going to do it. Uh, if you lift uh, six billion reps with a two-pound dumbbell, that's how you're going to get toned, bro. That's what, you, that's what you gotta do. Uh, you gotta do cardio in the morning without eating anything. See, it's like it's stuff like this that people are spreading, and I have nothing against these bro foods. I love brown rice, sweet potatoes, 
chicken, oatmeal, all that stuff, and I eat it. But to spread misinformation to people who are not knowledgeable in this and are trying to learn, you're setting them up for failure and setting them up for, honestly, just like a terrible social life. They're going to be like, must have chicken in two hours. Must have meal number 10. Stuff like that, man. People don't want to live like that. So, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna share information with people, make sure it's supported. Make sure you have evidence for it. Don't steer people in the wrong direction because something worked for you. If you want to give advice, that's perfectly fine. Give the best advice you can give, but don't demand people that they're gonna get fat if they drink milk or eat fruit, or if they eat a pop tart, it's impossible to put on size. They're just gonna be a fat piece of shit. Excuse my language, but you understand what I'm trying to say. There are a lot of new people in this community trying to learn a little bit, trying to better themselves, and by you spreading all this bro science, you're really not helping them out at all. So hope that gives you an understanding of what bro science is. That's really all there is about that. Again, feel free to share your knowledge with other people, but don't turn them into robots who think that you know, this is good, this is bad. If you do this, you're never going to see results. And if you do this, you're only going to see results. So that, in a nutshell, is bro science. Until next time, thanks again for the support. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, let me know. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you have not already. Share this with friends and family. And that's about it. Until next time, I'll see you later. One last thing really quick. If you have any questions about anything that I just said, such as there's nothing wrong with white rice, you don't have to worry about eating fruit, milk is not bad for you, creatine timing doesn't matter, these are all videos that I will be coming out with in the future. They're all on a list of things I want to talk about to try and clear some stuff up for those of you who still believe that you know, if you eat a carbohydrate at night, you're going to get fat. So all stuff that I'm going to talk about in the future, so definitely stay tuned and that's it. So thanks again for all the support.